you have one more trick for yeah, us. Yeah, I'll show you one last thing. Okay. Uh, people always ask me, do I cheat when I play cards, right? Mm -hmm. And it depends on who I'm playing. Like, if I was playing you, I wouldn't cheat. Uh -huh. um, if I was playing someone else, I would. But um, people always ask, like, can you cheat at a casino? You can't cheat there because they're actually always um, shuffling and, cu and cutting the cards. Mm -hmm. um, because in a casino, they want to make sure that there's no way that you uh, could ever cheat. So I'm going to get you to cut the cards to make sure that there's no way that I can cheat. Give the oh. cards a cut for me. Okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. There's no way that I can know at any time where you're going to go at any point, right? Right. So I'll show you how we're going to do this. If it works, it's going to be pretty impressive, all right? Okay. Just keep your eye on the cards. You can see that they're all different, right? Right. Okay. Give them one last little cut for me, just like this. And two more cuts. One more cut. Okay. That's one. And let's go one more time. And I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? It's one of my favorite stories. I think you're going to like it. Because um, I was actually out the other night. I met up with a couple of girls. Mm -hmm. uh, there were two redheads. I was chatting to them in front of them. I was about one, two, three minutes. I went up with their friends. There were two brunettes. They said, what's your name? I said, it's James with a J. Don't forget that. They said, Radio James, where are you headed tonight? I said, I'm not too sure. They said, come with us uh, to 673 King Street. I said, sounds like a plan. They said, there's a cover charge, though, of 25 bucks. I said, 25 bucks? They said, yep, 25 bucks. You with me so far, around? Good. <laughs> At this point, my phone rang right, so I cut in my pocket to find my phone. When I did, do you know what I said? I said, hello, James speaking. My friend said, James, where are you headed tonight? I said, I'm not too sure. It's a place called um, uh, 700 and something King Street. Now, the girls knew that was wrong. They said, no, no, no. It's 673 King. I said, I'm sorry, pal. I've actually got that wrong. It's 673 King. He said, I'll be there soon. Is there a cover charge? Do you remember how much it was, Ellen? 25 bucks. Yeah, he said, all I've got on me is 10. I said, don't lie. He goes, okay, I've got 40, but that's all I've got. Can you lend me some money? I said, no problem. He said, James, you're a good person. Now, at this point, I rock up inside the Warner Brothers studios. Nobody's trusting me, especially you. So you cut the cards for me. Go ahead. And you said, James, let's play poker. I said, sure. What would you like, Ellen? You said, a full house with two fours and three eights. I said, I'll see what I can do. I came over there. Another guy wanted four <laughs> nines, which is a pretty good hand as well, right? You asked me back. You said, James, give me four aces with the eight. I said, okay, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. You went to go take all the money for the table you thought you'd won right and I said what the hell are you doing you said James you couldn't possibly beat that I said the only thing it does Ellen is a straight flush that's what I've got and that's what I saw